Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at Kazushika Okada, I'm Okay. It's a photo book. Uh, photos are by Takashige Tsutumi. Here's the cover, with his hands placed gently on his neck. And here's the back cover, with just the stupid back of his head. Okay, let's begin. The first chapter is the cool chapter. As you can see him looking really cool here in his leather pants and leather jacket. Um, he's in a microwave now. I don't know if he can be cool in a microwave. It burns. It burns. Nothing says cool like sticking a giant man with lipstick on in a really red tiny room. And they found a, some sort of a wire body shape sculpture. Make love to the sculpture with your eyes, Kazuchika. I think it'll be cool. Now he's looking super cool with his sunglasses on. It's like, um... A bright light shining from underneath. As you can see, he knows all the cool expressions to make with his face. So cool. And this photo features how cool the back of his throat is. Oh, now we're talking cool. He's wearing this brightly colored tropical shirt and some white pants. I think that we're going to get cooler now. <laughs> Even he's confused by how cool this all is. Uh, there we go. This is actually a cool picture. Good expression. And, and just in case you didn't realize how cool the outfit really is, he's got his tropical shirt, white pants, Mary Jeans. Mm, now he wants you to know that his very cool shirt is too small for him. No matter how fast you run, Kazuchika, you can never outrun how cool you are. Here's the next chapter. This is the cute chapter. Uh, as you can see, he's in the garden, thinking about stuff, staring at the sun with his watering can and his little apron. Oh, nothing says cute like eight kazuchkas on the little jungle gym. Hey guys, I'm okay. I'm okay up here. I'm okay over here too. Very cute. Oh, don't forget this one. The over the shoulder cuteness. How cute is it that a mob of children have sat down the rainmaker and are forcing him to eat dirt? Eat it. Eat it. And with he finally found his people. Look at how thrilled he is. There's genuine happiness in this man's eyes. And his nice little sweater and his white v-neck. Here's a whole collage of photos of him being bullied by these children. They're yanking him out of a slide. He's like, haha, I'm super tall, you can't high-five me. Here they are laughing at him because he can't flip over the bar correctly. 
Here he is having too much fun on the rope bridge. Here they are dragging him around. Yeah. Too much fun. You know he had too much fun. He wore himself out. He had to take the nap. Oh, go to school with Kazuchika. Oh, this is cute. Look at that little girl. Sassy little girl right above him. And here he is patting them all on the head, I guess. The teacher's giving instructions on how to fold this sheet of paper. He doesn't... I don't think he's doing it right. Here's one of my favorite pictures in this whole book. It's just a shot of his big booty in a tiny little children's chair. Very cute. And here he is looking cute with his hair dyed black and his chanclas and robe. He is making some shaved ice and you can tell he's real happy about it. An assortment of pictures of him sticking his face in some shaved ice, making a mess on his face with shaved ice, big mouth, shaved ice, wiping his mouth, close up of his mouth with shaved ice, and of course he's got the brain freeze. Yep. And they gave him a fan as a prop, and he's kind of like, what the hell do I do with this thing? And he's trying not to step in that puddle because he's just got chunklas on. Oh. Being cute just really tires me out. Oh, now it's nighttime. Time for some fireworks, baby. This is a really good photo book if you're into feet. Oh, now it's the sexy chapter. There's feet again. Sexy time. Now, imagine that you've just come home from work and you find him laying there like that, looking all sexy, and you think, hey, have you just been laying there all day? You didn't mow the lawn like I asked you to? Nope. I spent all day trying to button up my shirt and laying around, looking all sexy. Now he's trying to open a red soda with his teeth. That's not a good idea. Oh. He, so he finally got a bottle opener. He said, be careful. If you shake it up too much, you're going to get red soda all over this nice white shirt of yours. Oh, he must have. Now it's time to wash off that shirt. So that's why. That explains why he's in the tub with his clothes on. Notice the sexy expression. Oh, more sexiness. Yeah. Mm, the water, you can tell, is too cold. He's drowning. There's nothing sexier than drowning. Well, that's cute. Uh-oh, I see nipple. Flex Okada. Flex for the picture. It's cold in here. I feel uncomfortable. Don't look at me. I feel so naked. They put lipstick on me. Another nipple shot there. hard to think. 
hurts to think. Now we approach the noble chapter, where he'll be noble. He's inviting you to come inside. Come into this mansion. I don't know who lives here, but let's go. And he's thinking about stuff. I don't know if you can tell that um, he's wearing a cream color suit with cream color shoes and his socks and shirt are white. I don't know why I noticed that. It's just very striking to me that it's not all one color, but that's okay. Here's a nice shot of his impressive bone structure. I wonder what he's thinking about. What are you thinking about, Kazushka? You think about ice cream, aren't you? Here's a picture of him with glasses, reading the five people you meet in heaven. For some reason. Here he is, pretending like he knows how to play piano. And if you're not a foot person, Here's a shot of his hands for you. I know this is not the sexy chapter, but you gotta get your kicks, don't you? Here he is. They told him his date would be done any minute now, and it, it's been like three hours already. What could possibly be taking so long? Smell the flowers, Kazuchika. It'll make a good photo. And then it ends with him looking off on the horizon, being all noble in his cream colored suit, white shirt, and a bouquet of flowers. Stupid back of the head.